Okay, here we are. I'm Lee Montez here at the Saratoga Lake Sailing Club with the winner of the Mega Bowl Three, Adam Gensler, right? Adam Gessner, yeah. Guess, Gessler. Gessner. Gessner. I can't Gessner. remember. <laughs> All right, congratulations, Adam. So, um, it's very interesting. It was a tougher guy. We had 32 boats or something like that, and uh, you're a real good sailor, and you're going to worlds and things like that, right? Yep. So, um. What was the secret to uh, to sailing and beating a lot of these really excellent sailors out there? Well, I've spent a lot of time in flat water on a Rondequoit Bay, so where I grew up sailing. So I've got a lot of time in these conditions, lighter, flat water, not what worlds will be in, but um, and I've just I think I've spent a lot of time in the boat, uh -huh. used to it sailing and exactly stuff like this. Yeah, so but I just, so did, I can feel it very well. You know, so did Dan Hesse was second, Doug Kokinen, you know, Mike Ingham was out there, you know, your dad. So it's like like those guys have spent a lot more time than you did. So how how did you find the secret to uh hitting whatever? Yeah, I was I tried I tried to take calculated risks, I guess. Those okay. times I I thought I would be better and I tried to avoid getting too far. I, th I got pretty far right in the first race and that ended up, that was actually a race I rounded worse at the weather mark. Okay, um, that's cool. But most of the time I had, I think I just had pretty good starts and was able to stay, stay up there in the top group by the weather mark and then sort and things just, out from there, yeah. All right, so this is gonna be very interesting because a lot of people have newer boats and you probably have one of the oldest boats. Yeah, I think it's an 83 or 84. An 83, 84, and you beat a lot of people Yeah, 83, here. so. So an 83. So let's go over your boat. You have a, a new rudder here. Pretty new rudder, yeah. Wishbone, uh, your regular two. Yep. So what do you do for, here's your regular block with a stand-up spring. Yep. Oh, you have no, oh, it's an auto ratchet? Uh, no, it, I just turned it off at the end because it was okay. getting, Light. So now the wind's filled right back in. <laughs> I know, exactly. Oh, and we could have gotten. Well, it's always like that in the store. Yeah. So, what, did you sail with that the gust adjust up there? I sail, yeah, I did sail the gens on. Um, I actually, I wasn't going to use it. Put it on when we first went out. It was kind of light. Right as they were about to start the first sequence, I said, you know what? We got a few puffs that were bigger. I'd rather have it. So I switched to that. Um, literally at four minutes in the first sequence, which ended up being a recall. Um, and, and yeah, I, I, it's what I, for a long time, sailed with just the gens, the uh -huh, old, right. the old style. And now, yeah, the gust adjust. Um, and recently this year I've started sailing with an, with an upper halyard, playing with that right. some and layer stuff. I, I think I have a mode that I've gotten used to with okay. the gens, gooseneck. I had it at 17 today. So wow. pretty far so back. 17 at the gooseneck and it was not blowing more than eight no it so wasn't. it was like what five to eight miles an hour that that sounds about right to and me. so right now it's actually blowing the most and we just got in the water it's blowing like it just had it just weapon. died and refilled back in as we as we all got so in, you yeah. said you had some puffs what were the puffs like they were like six to eight eight i there was a few that i thought might be closer to 10 but these were these were before the first race even started and then you put yourself in the yeah in the, in the gusset. That's yeah really and then i I just felt good with it the whole day, so I didn't really want to mess with anything. I know. How, uh, you're how old are you right now? Twenty. And then how long were you sailing uh, sunfish for? Um, I learned to sail when I was nine. I started racing more, probably thirteen-ish. Thirteen. And then when did you start uh, using the gust adjust? The gust adjust. I switched that. Uh, Doug Kynan helped me rig up the old style of the gens. We had a separate loop in that right, years right. ago when I was really small and, yeah. and and sailing and then i switched to gust adjust and then it had so you, to have been three or four three years ago four years ago covid ish okay time. that's cool so you have a 1983 boat and is there something anything special you have a, an inspection port here i have a couple inspection ports i mean this is we call it oil can because it it makes a noise it, it the, does the bottom. yeah it's oh my god yes it's the boat itself it's pretty old, but a lot of the rigging on it, I've been updating, keeping it pretty new, new right. tiller, um, you know, the all the adjustments the work animal. well. So I I really think, especially in the kind of lake, lake stuff here, flatter water, I'm right. not sure how much it matters. Last I weighed it, the boat's 135, so wow. it's not... It's, it's not, not extremely light. It's not extremely light. It's not extremely heavy either, and but it's, it's, not it's on the upper stiff. end, and it's, it's not even one stiff. I wow. think the foam is... On that side. Wow, like this a, is a soft boat. <laughs> so, so, 
So do you really have to really sail in pressure and shifts and use your and your your adjustment? Yeah, I think I I also sail I also sail thistles. Uh -huh. So I've sailed here a bit in thistles and sailing with my dad who's a very good thistle sailor, very yeah. good sailor as well. He's really good at tactics. And I think I pick up a lot of that from him on the thistle okay. that I can then take over to a boat like this. So nice. I've learned a ton on the thistle that I can bring back to Sunfish and then Excellent. Yeah, do it all So, it, with the boat itself, mm -hmm. um, is, was this your first boat? Yeah, this was this was my grandfather's boat. Oh, and then cool. my mom used it for a long time. I think, yeah, she had a top 10 North Americans in like 2008 or something. Wow, I, yeah, I want to yeah. say with this boat. Um, got the same kind of thing, like, oh yeah, in this boat, really, you know. And, well, that's but, good. I mean, um, it's, still, it's, it's still doing well. I've always felt like I'm pretty fast in it and when we're practicing you know I'll swap with I'll swap boats with Kira with, with Doug yeah. and I don't I don't feel all that much better in them and I, some of that might be I think the setups can be so personalized that right. you're used to sailing with a certain right. configuration so you have to take some time to adjust to someone else's yeah. okay. um, I still haven't decided if I'm bringing this hole to Worlds. Yeah, that's that was my next question, so um, we'll see, because it's it, chopped there, so it would yeah. probably be a little bit slower my, than chopped. My dad's boat's actually right here. This is a 95, I think, or 94. Um, and this is a nice, so this this is a nice fast, hole yeah. and a pretty light hole. Okay. Um, so I'm I'm considering using that one. I'm not, not really sure. Did your dad, is your dad sailing the Worlds? He's not sailing the Worlds. Okay. So, all right, so we have Adam Gesner, who's the champion of the Mega Bowl 3 here at Saratoga Lake uh, Yacht Club. Congratulations. Thanks for showing us your boat. Good job. Good luck in the world. And uh, if you like this content, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, congratulations. Yeah, thanks, right, Lee. Thanks a lot.